All right, everybody, welcome back. Your never ending journey toward your goal of mastering every pawn structure in chess is uh, continuing today. This is I am Daniel Wrench, and this is chess.com, and we are ready to rock and roll. So, uh, as we discussed in the first Carol Slav video, uh, when black does nothing to change the structure in the position, when black does nothing to challenge white space advantage, eventually moves like d4, d5 can be devastating. As we saw Spassky remaneuver his pieces, make the breakthrough, his pieces were well placed on open files and diagonals for the tactics to be nice, and uh, they were devastating. We may even look at another example of that here in a moment. But before we do, depending on how much time we have, uh, what I'd like to talk about first is, is the other breakthrough white may choose if he has the space advantage that is going unchallenged by black. And uh, not, maybe not necessarily a breakthrough as much of a, a, uh, a clamper, a move that clamps down the center and changes the pawn structure of White's favor. As I, as I foreshadowed, uh, the, what I'm talking about are situations where uh, we reach a Karolsov structure. Let's just say, uh, yeah, let's just say we end up reaching it, something like this, because right now what I'm trying to illustrate, of course, is that, is that we're just talking about this structure. Forget about the moves in which we, we played to reach this. Uh, what I want you to remember, in fact, we'll even just get rid of this bishop, put it back here so you focus on the pawns. Uh, what I want you to remember here is that the more you, the more you understand, not, not just uh, the little plans that we're talking about here, but how, uh, in terms of like, okay, we saw an example of the white should play for d5. You don't just want to understand the little plans that you're trying to execute when you play a given pawn structure, but you also want to understand how it affects your pieces when you do or don't play those moves. Because, you know, what really, when it really starts to get complex is when you're not just talking about, uh, okay, this is a pawn structure and A, B, and C are the ideas for white, and this is the pawn structure and blah, blah, blah is the ideas for black. But then you really try to understand when they are better than others. Like, oh, when white, when we have this particular version of a Carol Slav, maybe this one's better. When we have this particular version, maybe white should play for E5 instead of D5. And we talked about, usually that's the case if we have an E pawn instead of the C pawn version of the Carol Slav structure, because this one doesn't seem to be quite as devastating most of the time, because it's not creating kingside attacking chances. And uh, the, the chances of us using that output score on D6 are, are not as high. Uh, so that's an example, like I said, and, but there are other things too, like from Black's perspective, knowing when they see the E5 break is perhaps more natural versus the C5 break, uh, knowing when he should sit with the bishop on C8 in anticipation that he is going to be able to change the structure with E5, or when he should be playing more of a tart to cower or a slower type development where he just, you know, commits to B6 and being killing the bishop. B6 which not only gets the bishop on this diagonal, but also helps prepare C5 eventually. Uh, B6 helps prepare that. So, uh, you know, I'm just giving examples of how you develop your pieces and your awareness of not only the pawn structure you're in right now, but how that might evolve is very important. And and the particular opening, as, as I've talked to you guys about. We hope you enjoyed this video demo from chess.com. Subscribe today to finish this video and get unlimited access to our full video library. Your membership also includes access to Chess Mentor, the most advanced interactive training tool available anywhere. You'll also get full access to the Opening Explorer, Tactics Trainer, and much, much more. So sign up today and get serious about improving your game.